What we see on this screen is the raw data. The, this is simply the voltages measured from the ground divided by the transmitter current level. So they're normalized voltages. And uh, at this point we are seeing only the data from one receiver. This happens to be a three receiver array that we were using to make the measurement. So I can do a right click on the screen and tell it to plot all sensors. And as soon as we eliminate these spikes, it will uh, auto scale. We'll be able to see the curves on all three of those sensors. So what we want to do is get rid of these spurious spikes. We use a filter. Click on filter and the spike filter and I am going to simply apply that despiking and it will apply it to all readings and it auto scales you notice those large spikes have been eliminated and we see all of the data on the first receiver, the blue is the second receiver, and the green is the third receiver. All very well coordinated. And we'll close that window. The next thing we want to do is create a pseudo section showing the changes in resistivity along the lines. And uh, I will at random choose this first traverse that starts at that green box right there. I'm going to click on that green box, do a right click and draw a pseudo section. And this happens to be oriented in the north-south direction, uh, which is defined as the y-axis. I will project it along the y-axis. And if we inspect the lines, you can see that we have a number of lines in our survey. And I am only going to use the first line, line 0, and all three receivers to create our pseudo section. And OK. And what we see on the screen now is a pseudo section projected along the north south axis. This is our UTM northern coordinate. And the vertical axis is in end space, which is proportional to our depth of investigation. So this is basically a depth view along a single line in this survey. If I wanted to do another line, I can simply select another line. Draw this pseudo section again, project it along the y axis. And this is now line number two. And make sure I have no other lines selected. And OK. And again, OK. And I'm going to temporarily close these other windows so I can see both of my depth sections on the same screen. And these are two lines in different positions separated approximately two meters from one another. They're on different color scales, so I'm going to put them both on the same color scale. I will go from a minimum of 85 ohm meters to 300 ohm meters. 
And I do this so I can compare the two. And I'll do that with the second depth section as well. And now what I'm looking at are two lines, two, two meters separated from one another. But you can see, if we line these up, that there are features running laterally across our survey that are being picked up in both of these lines. Uh, we have a very conductive, the scale goes from blue for conductors to red for resistors. We have a conductive overburden, uh, moderately resistive in the range of somewhere below 200 ohm meter lower layer with uh, changes in the depth of that layer and two very strong resistors on the south end of that line. Uh, I will show you later how we will invert that data to get a true resistivity with depth. But what I'd first like to do is show you how we get a map view of this data. Uh, the two maps that we viewed already are simply depth sections that slice vertically into the earth. Now what we want to do is look at a horizontal plan view section. And in order to do that, I simply select another map. I'm going to draw a resistivity map. And I am going to sort that on n factor, which will give us a constant depth and you'll see that we go from line 0 to line 21 these are our 22 lines first with the first receiver then with the second receiver and finally with the third receiver, where each receiver represents a different depth of investigation. So let's do this. Let's select all of the first receivers down to line 21. And I'm going to mark all of these and simply Click OK to give us a plan view map. So what we see now is a horizontal horizontal map of the entire section. And I will 